This video sponsored by Envato Elements. Hey everyone, welcome back to Effect for You channel. Today, we are going to create cinematic action trailer like this. So let's get started. First sponsor message. Design your project better and faster. With Envato Elements, get over 5 million stock assets and ready to use templates for your next project. Create more with premium design assets, video templates, mockups, fonts, presentation, photos, audio file, and more. All this come with commercial licenses for extra peace of mind. I also get my subscription for a couple of years, get unlimited downloads with Envato Elements, and start creating today. For more detail find the first link in the description. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and hit the like button, thanks. First create a new composition. 1920 by 1080, I call this main comp. Here I have some elements in our folder, so drag the background particles footage into the timeline. I already created this footage so that you don't have to wait, because it takes time. Now create a new composition. This is our text one comp. Select text tool and type your text. Now we need to add some effects on our text, select first text layer and search gradient ramp effect. Change the start color light gray color. And end color black. Now move the start and end point close to the text. Now select the layer and search CC light sweep effect. Change direction 90 degrees, and move the center point middle of the text, and decrease the width around date. Now add the same effect in second text layer. So copy the gradient ramp effect, and paste it on second layer. Now adjust the start and end point close to the text. Then copy CC light sweep effect, and paste it on second layer and adjust the center point, and increase the width around 10. Now we need to animate our text. So select first text layer, and hit T for opacity, go to around few frame forward, and add a keyframe. Then go to first frame and change the opacity 0%. Now we need to animate our second text, so open text layer. Go to Animate, and select Tracking. Go to First Frame and add a keyframe on Tracking Amount, and change Tracking Amount 50, then go to the last keys on Opacity, and change the Tracking Amount 0. We need to move the last tracking amount around 4 second forward. Cool. Now go to main comp and drag text 1 comp into the timeline. Convert the layer as a 3D layer. Go to few frame forward and add a keyframe on position. Then go to first frame and move the position close to the camera. Select the last keyframe and easy ease them, and make your graph like this. I think we need to move opacity key a little bit. Perfect. Also turn on the motion blur of the layer.
Now go to the position lasts key, then open text layer. And add a keyframe on anchor point. Then go to around 4 to 5 second forward, and move the Z position, little bit far from the camera. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now we need also animate the opacity, so go to around 4 to 5 second forward, and change opacity 0%. And add a keyframe, then go to few frame back, and change opacity 100%. Perfect. Now add spark footage into the timer line, so drag sparks 1 footage into the timer line. Change mode normal to screen, now move the sparks layer backward until you see the spark particles. Now drag second sparks footage into the timer line, change mode normal to screen, again move the sparks layer backward until you see the spark particles. Now drag glitch footage into the timer line, change layer mode normal to screen, and move the layer few frame forward. And find that frame where you see lots of glitches in your footage. Select Rectangle tool and create a mask like this. Select the layer and move in front of the text. Perfect. Now duplicate the layer and move few frame forward. Double click on mask to select the mask, and move bottom side of the comp. Cool. Now drag flare footage into the timer line. Change mode normal to screen, and move the flare bottom of the text. And change opacity around 80%. Now drag the lens flare PNG into the timer line. Change mode normal to screen. And convert as a 3D layer. Now parent the layer with text 1 layer. Resize the layer and adjust with any alphabet. Now go to first frame hit T for opacity, and add a keyframe, and change opacity 0%, then go to 1 and half second forward, and change opacity 100%, then again go to 2 to 3 second forward, and change the opacity 0%. Now create new adjustment layer. Select the layer and search curves effects, and make your curves like this. We need little bit blue tint effect. Cool. Now create another new composition, this is our Media 1 comp. Drag your footage into the timer line. Then go to main comp and drag Media 1 comp into the timer line. Select the layer and search hue and saturation effect. And change master saturation minus 100. Move the medium one layer around two second forward. Now go to project window and drag old file effect footage into the timer line and move the layer two second forward and change layer mode normal to screen and change opacity 20%.
cool. Now duplicate the glitch footage layer. And move above the old film effect layer. Around 2 second forward, then duplicate the layer, and move few frame forward. Double click on mask and move the mask. Perfect. Now create a new black solid layer. This is our black bar layer. Select the layer and search CC Jaws effects, increase completion 80%, and decrease height 0%. Perfect. Now create one more new black solid layer. This is our fade out layer. Move the layer around 4 second forward. Hit T for opacity and add a keyframe, and change opacity 0%, then go to few frame forward and change the opacity 100%, and trim the layer. Select all layers and pre-compose them. This is our scene 1. Now create scene 2, so duplicate the scene 1 layer, and move scene 2 when scene 1 end. Now go to project window and duplicate the scene 1 comp here. Hold alt key and drag the scene 2 comp over the scene 1 comp. Now open scene 2. Then replace the media 1 comp layer, so go to project window and duplicate the media 1 comp. Then hold Alt key and drag Media 2 comp into the timeline. Similarly replace the Text 1 comp layer. Now here you can change your text. Similarly change your Media 2 footage. Cool. Our animation has done. Hit zero for ender. Thanks for watching. I hope you like the video. So please like it, share it, and subscribe to the channel. For more tutorial, I'll see you in the next video.